Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are going to explore the idea of a sequence. More specifically, number sequence. Yep. And so in this activity, we are going to write down the next two terms of each sequence and thereafter describe in words how you get those two terms. Okay, so from here I'm going to zoom in to one half of this particular problem, which is here. Alright, so I observe that for number one, pattern number one, I always add 5 to the previous term. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so I'm basically just adding 5 each time as I proceed from one term to the next. So I'm simply adding 5 to the previous term. For the next one, I observe that I always minus 6 or subtract 6. 7 subtract 6 will be 1. 1 subtract 6 will be negative 5 and so on. So the next two term for example 2 will be negative 17 and negative 17 subtract 6, negative 23. So in this case, I'm simply subtracting 6 from the previous term. As for example 3, 1 followed by half, half followed by 1 quarter. I'm actually multiplying half to the previous term. Meaning 1 over 8 multiplied by half, 1 over 16. And 1 over 16 multiplied by half, 1 over 32. And for the last example, negative 4 multiplied by negative 3 gives me 12. 12 multiplied by negative 3 again, negative 36. So I saw that the pattern is I multiply by negative 3 as I move on to the next term, meaning 108 multiplied by negative 3, negative 324, negative 324 multiplied by 3, negative, oops, sorry, it's not negative, it should be positive, 972. So I'm actually multiplying negative 3 to the previous term. Okay. And so, from here, we can then move on to some definition where we have an ordered list of numbers that may be generated from rules and patterns and this is actually what we call sequence number sequence okay example will be 0 5 10 15 where we always add 5 to the previous term as shown in example 1. Each number is called a term. Okay, that's the name given to it.
and it's identified by its position, meaning at which point. So for example, in this case, term 1, T1 is equals to 0. This is my T1, this is my T2, T3, and T4 as shown here. Alright? So from here, the results from this activity reveal that sequences generated from rules can be classified into two broad categories where we actually have a what we call a common difference that means we always add or subtract by a different uh, the same number so in, the in this case I saw that, for example 1, I add 5 to the previous term every time. Example 2, I subtract 6 from the previous term. And the difference is, for example 1 is 5, the difference for example 2 is 6. So this is what we call a common difference example. Okay, so this one includes... Example one and example two, and we also realize that there is a common ratio example that. Oops, sorry, let me change color. Common ratio means that every time we multiply by a fixed number, the ratio is the same. We always multiply by that same number. Example. Three and four is such example. Okay. With that, we have come to the end of this first part on introduction. Let's move on to share with you some examples and sequences from patterns that we can see. Okay.